What is up guys, Tom here, welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video where today it isn't really a topic video, it's more of an actual Infinite Warfare video. As you can see in the background, there is Infinite Warfare beta from... <laughs> I just got completely, I completely mixed that up. There's Infinite Warfare gameplay from the Infinite Warfare beta, not the other way around. Um, so... Obviously, the beta has been out uh, over the last couple of days on Xbox One. Uh, I played it a bit on Friday night, and I've been playing it all Saturday, pretty much. Uh, I did do a live stream uh, on Saturday, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And when this video is uploaded on Sunday, I'll probably also be live streaming again, doing more Infinite Warfare beta. So. If you want to watch Infinite Warfare Beta Live, it might not be the best quality gameplay. I can't, you know, like, say for a fact that it's going to be amazing. I usually get the odd, like, decent gameplay. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see that, then check it out then. But that's not what this video is about. It's not me, you know, plugging myself and, show, like, saying I'm live streaming and stuff. This is about Infinite Warfare and my first impressions of the game. Now, it is a very, very chaotic game. It's The movement system is similar to Black Ops 3, not exactly the same. It's a lot more faster paced. The boost regenerates faster, which means you move around the maps faster and the maps are smaller. So it's a lot more chaotic and a lot more fast paced. Which means, I suppose you could say, it's more of an AR dominant uh, Call of Duty on pretty much all of the maps. Uh, but I did I just say AR, I meant SMG. It's SMG uh, dominant. Uh, now the maps they have ha uh, put in the game are very small. Uh, I think the biggest one is Terminal and Front. Uh, term not Frontier. God, that's like the smallest one. Terminal and Throwback. I'm pretty sure are the two biggest ones. And they're still, you know, you get into some very close quarters gunfights. So, you know, SMGs do work well. I find one of the best guns, one of the two best guns, in the game are ones that switch from like long range to close range. I will be making videos about both of those guns because those are both, uh, at the moment my two favorite guns. I did get decent gameplay with them in my live stream which will be the gameplay in the background of those videos. But it as I said it's very fast paced, it's very very chaotic and it's kind of it's very in your face. You have to concentrate. Like you really have to concentrate. If you want to get kills and not that many deaths you need to concentrate although you play it casually you're gonna get a decent amount of kills yeah but you're gonna get a lot of deaths you're gonna get more deaths you're gonna go negative every single game because that chaotic that you see somebody every 10 seconds pretty much it is extremely extremely chaotic which means yeah you do get a shot in the back the spawns are a bit terrible if i'm completely honest because I think this is so chaotic and it's so kind of clustered that the spawns don't really know what to do. But hopefully, you know, the spawns will be fixed for the final game. If I'm, if I'm honest, the guns seem decently balanced. There's some that are a bit like, how does that not kill faster than that and this sort of thing, as there is in most Call of Duties. But uh, mainly, most of the guns are fairly balanced. I'd say there are more guns that are underpowered than are overpowered. Uh, in the beta at the moment. Now, obviously, Infinity Ward are the people behind the Modern Warfare series. And obviously, you think about Modern Warfare 2, you think about quick scoping and the intervention. Is quick scoping good in Infinite Warfare? Yes. Yes, it's extremely overpowered. Now, I'm going to make a separate video about this, but you know, I just wanted to cover it briefly. And I do want to say sniping is a problem. It really, really does need to be nerfed. Like, sniping. They've got, uh, basically they've got aim assist, which means, like, it makes it a lot easier for people to snipe. But I'm going to cover this in a separate video, but sniping is a slight issue. Also, the connection. The connection is amazing. I find there's, like, lag spikes occasionally, like, huge, kind of, like, spikes that last for about 30 seconds or so. But apart from that, for most of the game, it's smooth and it works pretty well, you know, the hit detection isn't bad, uh, it's fine in my opinion, uh, but you do get these occasional kind of, like, spikes, lag spikes, they're really weird, uh, I don't know why you get them, but you just do, basically, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, I suppose, I don't really know why, 
uh, you get these lag spikes. Uh, but I, I am enjoying Infinite Warfare. I know I've kind of said a quite a few negative things here, but I am really, really enjoying the game. I do like how uh, you can get a salvage from opening supply drops. You get a salvage, any duplicates you get, you get salvage for them, which you can then spend on uh, the weapon variants, which I do like. Uh, I've been unlocking quite a few weapon variant guns that I like. I've been able to look and say, okay, I want this variant for this gun. I really like this gun, and I think if this was added to it, it would make it a lot better. Uh, so I'm able to look through all the variants like that, and that is, you know, pretty cool. Uh, and if I'm honest, I'm enjoying kind of the chaoticness. It can get a bit, ag a bit aggravating, yes, when you're getting shot in the back, you're getting spawn trapped. But there are times when you are doing really well, and I feel like when you do do well, this game is very, very rewarding. And when I feel like I'm doing well, I really do kind of feel like I'm doing well. If I get, like... Uh, double like things like double kills, triple kills, quad feeds, a lot more rewarding because the time to kill is a lot faster. You get absolutely shredded if you're not careful. Um, so the time to kill is a lot faster in this game. So if you turn on somebody and get a double kill, that feels really, really reward rewarding because you're going to be very, very close to death because of you being shot at by two people, and the time to kill is very, very slow. So it's obviously a lot harder to turn on people and get double kills, but when you do, it is extremely, extremely rewarding. And it's an enjoyable game overall. If you play it the right way, and uh, you kind of look past the annoying things that are hopefully will be fixed in the main game, I think I think it's okay. It's not too bad. And I'm enjoying I'm enjoying playing it and I can't wait to play something fresh. I'm already at the level cap uh, as I am making this and I can't wait get into the full game and start grinding and start leveling up, prestiging, getting some of those classic weapons that aren't available in the game, uh, are available in the beta unfortunately. Uh, but over the next couple of days there will be quite a few more Infinite Warfare videos that go more in depth on some of the things that I have said, such as sniping, uh, guns that I like. I'm going to do, a kind of, I did say this on my live stream, uh, the live stream I did, uh, but I'm going to make a mini-series just talking about all five of the maps that are in the beta. Uh, so, yeah, leave this video a like if you're looking forward to more Call of Duty Infinite Warfare content. And if you are new, I really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. But I've been Tom, and I will see you all in the next one.